What's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Fujiano. Now, Fujiano has been one of those artists that I have covered on this channel extensively. Now, Fujiano has stayed in a lot of trouble recently, man. His case has been widely publicized, and it looks like this thing is getting even worse. It looks like Fujiano didn't really upset some people out there in Greene County, Georgia, and it looks like they want to throw the book at Fujiano. Now, Fujiano is an artist, for those of you who don't know, who is signed to Gucci Man's 1017 label. And he was he was on his way. He was like climbing. And I know that gets thrown around a lot. People say, hey, this artist is on their way. Their career is climbing. No, Fujiano is at the heart of a movement with 1017 that's said to do amazing things with breakout artists such as Pooh Shiesty, Big Scar, and himself, man. It was all set up. But Fujiano, man, a past ca case caught up with him, and man, it's been bad since then. But before we get to the specifics of this, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about this Fujiano situation. Now, Fujiano's manager slash, I don't know, co-label, I don't know what his relationship with Boom Man is anymore. I know Boom Man and Fujiano run tight, though. I know Boom Man is a person that signed Fujiano originally and found him, pushed the single, and made Fujiano a star. You know what I mean? Boom Man even did mad interviews when Fujiano was still developing in his career to go out on his behalf when he had his little shooting case and all that stuff. Now, the case that I'm talking about isn't actually involving Fujiano shooting at anybody. But it was a case in South Carolina that caught a lot of national attention because it was at the same time and on the same week that Gucci Man redid the whole 1017, repacked the roster, and had just dropped their new mixtape. But it looked like, man, Fujiano from that point ran into trouble, and trouble kept following this artist around. Now, Fujiano is one of my favorite rappers on 1017. He brings the energy. He brings that heat. I've done numerous videos. I did a video just talking about who he was when he was first kicking off. I did another video talking about the case in South Carolina. Then I backed that up and we did a video talking about this current case where he's being accused of cutting off his ankle monitor for a gun charge related to a home invasion allegedly back in the day. Now that's a lot, so let's unpack all of that and talk about why Boom Man is important to this story. Now Boom Man, like I said, is, I believe he's Fujiano's manager. So he's been closely monitoring Fujiano and his success and man, he put out this post today on social media and everybody is going wild with it. Even artists as big as Meek Mill and others. So Boom Man said this. He said, Green County just gave Fujiano, aka, you know, Fujiano the mayor, five years for cutting an ankle monitor for a gun charge that wasn't his and was claimed by someone else. This is beyond crazy. Crying emoji. We have to do something about this. Now, this seemed like a rally cry as a way to get the troops and everybody together and just go to war on social media on behalf of Fujiano. And a lot of people were like, yeah, man, we down with this, man. This is this sounds wrong. But they really don't know the specifics of the case. So let's talk about how all these cases are interlocked. And I'm going to use a report that was put out there by, I want to call them, they're like a gossip website or whatever. And let me give them their credit, GossipOnThis.com. Now, they did a good job of putting all this together or where else I would have had to go through all my archives and put this together myself. But, man, let's talk about the case. All right, now let's go back to where this whole ordeal started back in March, man. Now, Fujiano, whose real name is Kwame Khalil Brown, was arrested by a U.S. Marshal's Office task force back in March in Memphis. Remember, I think he was in Memphis because that was around the same time as uh, Pooh Shiesty's brother had passed away, and I, I, I believe he was there for the funeral. Now, he was arrested on a fugitive from justice warrant, so they could pick him up anywhere and then transfer him back to wherever he needed to be, wherever the warrant was, and in this case, it was Georgia. Now, Fujiano, who's 27 years old, is signed with 1017 and was previously wanted in Greene County, Georgia. That's the place that he's at right now, Greene County, Georgia, where he was released on a $50,000 cash-only bond in December 2020. We talked about that in that story back in December. 
Now that warrant was for a probation violation stemming from a firearms charge. Now this is what Boom Man was touching on when he made that post on social media. Now Brown was initially on probation for a 2015 burglary conviction in which he was charged with possessing a firearm as a felon. And he had been ordered to wear an ankle monitor after violating his probation. Now that seemed like a solid deal, especially when you think about the fact of his, you know, his prior convictions and what he had looking into the future. But this is where the story got, got crazy. Now, the night he was released, he reportedly didn't charge his ankle monitor after it went dead. And he was untraceable for several hours. So that alone is like breaking the conditions of his release, you know, of his bond or whatever, right? Now, later that day, the ankle monitor was charged, but police received an alert that the device had been tampered with. The monitor later appeared to stop working again on the side of a highway in Barrow County, which it was retrieved, but no sign of Fujiano. So they're saying that Fujiano basically took the ankle monitor and threw it to the side of the road. That at first he had been tampering with it, messing with it. It went offline. It came back online and then he threw it away. Now, authorities said the straps on the ankle monitor appeared to have been burned off. Now, I didn't think you could do that, man. I mean, it's funny because cats have been trying to do that forever. Get the ankle monitor off. You know what I mean? And I, they're, they're alleging that Fujiano found a way to do it, which is wild, man. Now, the report also goes on to say, or should I say, the story goes on to say that the Molly rapper remained on the run from police, but remained active on social media. And that was, that's what I tapped into on the last story that I did about this, right? Fujiano was all on social media, flexing money, talking, you know, about what he got going on in the studio, doing everything, man. It was like he wasn't even on the run. So when they eventually caught him, it was no surprise. But it was like, man, it took him longer than expected because dude was really out here indiscriminate about how he moved on social media. And he was daily flogging. Now, for those of you who don't know, Fujiano is said to have received a million dollars when he signed with Gucci Man. Gucci Man put it out there that the first artist that he signed at 1017 was getting the million, and everybody believes that was Fujiano. Nobody came out and, you know, said if it was Fujiano or Pooh Shicey, but most people believe it was Fujiano. So you would wonder why he has so much money and he's balling so crazy on social media because he got that bag, you know what I mean? To say the least. Now, Fujiano and Gucci Man were also named in an ongoing lawsuit filed by a family of somebody who was killed in that uh, lavish lounge shooting in South Carolina. Now, if you guys forgot about that, let me just play you guys a little clip real quick. 12 people are hurt following a mass shooting at a nightclub in Greenville. Police responded to reports of active gunfire from inside the building around 2 o'clock this morning. Right now, it's unclear if anyone is in custody in relation to the shooting. We're working to learn the conditions of the... Now, it seems that case is all but solved because... Fujiano and Gucci Man, they got a civil case against them or whatever. Somebody, I guess, is suing them for some money. But it looks like a gentleman by the name of Mr. Cooper, who's in, you know, Fujiano's entourage that night, looks like he was charged with that that crime. And he's actually waiting everything in a Greenville County Detention Center right now. So it looks like Fujiano, man, according to Boom Man, is, is they threw five years at him. And basically, it's looking like his career might be, man, at a halt, a screaming halt. Because Fujiano's 27, and man, and I know rappers have been locked up and came out and had successful careers before, and you know, really age didn't play play a difference in it, but especially in today's rap game, where it's just not as age focused as it used to be, even though it is still kind of age focused. It's just, um, I don't know, man. I don't know if he can reba rebound from this. It just seems like a tough situation to rebound from, and hopefully, man. Fujiano, man, he makes it out of this situation with his head up. It, I'm sure, based on what Boom Man said, they're going to be fighting this every chance they get. Now, what y'all think, man? Is Fujiano getting a raw deal in this situation? I mean, five years for an ankle monitor does seem like a lot, but it does seem like if you burned off the ankle monitor, you are breaking the conditions of your bond, you know what I mean, and your pre-release. So, 
I don't know, man. What do you guys think? Do you think this is a raw deal? Or do you think that Fujiano is just going to have to fight this out and try to see the best deal he can get in the court? Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And we out of here. Oh, yeah. Make sure you hit that notification bell. So that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.